Now we are going to create the system, uh, the system module. And uh, for this, I will create a new file here, system.rs. And then I'm going to copy and paste the code that is available for everybody in the lesson. So this is the code. I will, uh, I will copy and paste this code also here for you. And we have to do some things here, some, some, some imports and, and do whatever we need to, to make this palette uh, like useful. Um, so basically what this palette has, uh, we, we have a, a field called block number uh, that we will store all the uh, that we will store the block number of the blockchain. So imagine that a blockchain is a, a chain of blocks, and then we have block one, block two, block three, block, block four, and so on. And we have to store the state of what is the the last block that was created. So for this, the same way we created here in the balances palette, we created uh, this struct. We are going to create a struct that is already here, and then the field will be like block number, block number, and the type will be like a U32 or U128, let's put U32, doesn't matter, it's an integer. And then also, so this is the way we create the block number, uh, yeah, it's U32, okay. And now uh, we also have to create a field, um, here to store um, the nouns of the users. So nouns, uh, we're going to see later, are a very important concept of blockchains that uh, store, the, the, it's counting the number of transactions for each user. So basically, the nouns uh, is the amount of transactions that every single user did in the blockchain. So in this case, I'm going to use a, a bit tree map the same way we use in imbalances. So the difference is that in balances, the key is the wallet and the value is the balance. And in nouns, the key is the wallet also, but the value is the nouns, or in other words, the counter of how many transactions this person did in the blockchain. So these are the two values that I have here. And then I'm going to create the implementation of the new, uh, the same way we did here, the function that returns something like this, let me copy here, and then we, we will update with the correct, I uh, will initialize with a zero as the first, like the, the block number, the default block number is, it will be zero when the blockchain is created, and the nouns will be a B3 map, uh, also empty with no, no, nothing inside it. And then, uh, uh, okay, I uh, have this, Okay, let me remove this. And basically, this is everything I need to do here. I need to import. Of course, I need to import the, the, this B3 map here. Let me import here. Do the same import. And if I do a cargo run, just to make sure everything is compiling and running. Yes, everything is compiling and running, as you can see here. And also, I'm going to import the system pal, the system here, just to make sure. I, I'm not using it. Let me remove this from here. And let me just, like, create the system. Just... And uh, I'm not. We we are not using it. I'm just creating the just for the sake of like uh, testing if everything is working. Probably we we are going to remove this later. Uh, hmm, wait a minute. I'm not. It's printing hello world, but I'm not. Ah, yes, it's printing hello world. And uh, so basically, this is where everything I need to do here. And this is when I finished. Uh, the the creation of the system palette. So basically, this system palette will have these two fields. They are not being read um, now. They are just uh, created and initialized. But yet, nothing is being do. Uh, I'm not, I'm not doing anything with this. Uh, we're going to do this uh, in the next lessons.